Well, in in 180 or 1080 mm. rather. Yeah. They were they would have been a hundred gig files, I believe. And then you have to compress them down, and so somebody's like, "Oh, you need to be using Bandicam." So what Bandicam does is it can do 1080 and it compresses it at the same time. Yeah. But um, and and so actually it's 1080 and the files are smaller, which means I don't have a critical mass problem uploading to YouTube because with Fraps what was happening is I was doing so many videos, and they were just big enough to where I actually could not upload all my videos at night. Oh, right. Which meant I was uploading the next day, and then all of a sudden it I got so backed up to where I was actually uploading as I was playing. Oh, yeah, that's... And that wasn't going to work, and so no. I actually set up a second laptop. And just was, to upload bloody yep, hell. And that laptop was literally uploading 24 hours a day for uh, three days in a row. And then I switched over to Bandicam, and I was having a lot of problems. And it took me another week emailing Bandicam back and forth until I got it to work. And now I can upload 10, 15, 20 videos a night if I want. The only problem, though, now is now I'm running two channels, and YouTube, I try not to bash them too much, but I swear they pissed me off so bad. <laughs> Everybody is mad about the updates and stuff. It's hard to really tell how much of it's really quantifiably an, an issue, but I'm telling you, man, from a QA standpoint, YouTube is the biggest steaming pile of freaking crap on the planet. But it, it wasn't too bad until it sold it sold to hey, EMP till it sold it sold to Google really. That's what really got me. It did. Um it it screwed when when people say yeah. like when every single channel tells you that it was screwed up and bad and every single one of them had different problems. Ah uh, you bastard. Where are you? Oh. No, they put one of those droids on you that locks up your ship. Oh. Just as I was flying towards a bloody great big rock. <laughs> and I couldn't, do, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't turn, couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Arse. <laughs> ah. They're trolling you. Who is... Oh, that's Hijack shooting me. Now I might have to get Bandy Cam. So I stopped recording because of the problems I was having with fraps and second hard drives and just pain in the ass but I might give bandy cam a try yes and I can teach you how to use it if you want it takes definitely like tweaking but um, when you get it set up properly what it can do depending on what kind of video card you have I got a reasonable PC mm -hmm. do you have like a good AMD card or something uh, well I got yes, it's a few year old graphics card but seems to do me okay. I've got HDMI outputs and I've never had an issue with it. i got an i5 with 16 gig of RAM inside of it. Okay. So, what what it does is it, it uses your video card as extra processing power if you, if you can set it up right. And it'll uh, it just whizzes through the compression. Um, like, literally... As soon as I hit uh, F9, the, the video's done. It, so it's, it, it compresses almost to the second. Bam, goodbye. It, it's like compressing up to the second. That's how fast it's compressing. And I'm going to be upgrading my machine uh, as soon as this foot and a half of snow goes away that we have outside. But, um... It's able to do that, and it keeps the file size down so small. I was having so many problems with fraps. Because, um... It, it wasn't even... It was recording, but it wasn't even, like, compressing anything. Yeah, because uh, I, so I, I had a separate software for changing the file type and compressing it, and then I had, I mean, Sony Vegas for 
putting all the file sizes together. It's only recorded four minutes at a time in each little folder. Oh, it just got pain in the ass. Well, and Sony Vegas is such a steaming pile of garbage. I, yeah. I paid money for it. Um, oh, I got given a free copy. That's the only reason I used it. But yeah, it is just hard work for the sake of it. Yeah. I have to have, um, if I want to edit my videos, actually, while we're on that, I have to have a second program. I have to have three programs. I have to have a program to record it. I have to have a program. I can't believe I missed them. Missed them again. Oh, you suck. I have to have a program to record it. I have to have a program to convert it. And then I have to have another program to chop it all together. Mm -hmm. And uh, because Vegas won't take these files... In fact, after I did my last round of optimizations a couple days ago to get my sound working so you could hear my little pew pew. Yeah. Um, I. Vegas won't even load the files now. Whereas it was at least loading them, but it wasn't loading the audio file. Now it won't load it at all. Really, really irritating. Yeah, because I remember, because at one point I could hear your game sound and your chat, and all of a sudden. All I could hear was your chat. That all the game sounds disappeared completely. Okay, yeah. So that's because Fraps had this really neat setting where... Oh, crap. It, it default shuts the sounds like music off. It shuts like the music files off, and you can tell it to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was still recording my game sounds, if I'm not mistaken. But Bandicam has a lot of really teeny tiny switches and toggles you gotta do. Man, we're getting our asses handed to us. Yeah. Frickin' Hijack is really good. But the other thing, if you were watching any of my other games, I was recording some of those with Snagit. Oh man, you guys are just gonna murder me. Janet and I, Jack, are flying around together, murdering everybody. Um, and so I had my sound uh, on that, but I couldn't do everything on that either, because Snagit doesn't want to record games very well. But yeah, I got all this tweaked, but now I can't load it in Vegas at all, which means no editing unless I want to use another piece of software to compress it. Or I can load it all into YouTube and try to edit it there. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. It's just not it's just not a good situation, honestly. Oh. Okay. This is one of those this is one of the one of those rare games where I wish we had the little vote the vote thing. We could vote vote to have the game over with. Yeah. <coughs> they win. Yeah, Give it's them. like you win. <laughs> yeah. We'll take half a score to not have to sit through the next six minutes of this. It's not giving up, it's just surrendering. Oh, well, it's just being realistic and knowing that in the next six minutes, we ain't gonna win this. Yeah, not unless they all fly at our capital ship. Yeah, which would be, <laughs> which would be funny. Um, Mass suicide. There were, th there are people that do that uh, in StarCraft, and the reason why they do that, not literally fly into your capital ship, but metaphorically speaking, because it keeps their their kill count down, or their keeps their win count down and it keeps them matched up where they want against to the be weaker matched. people yeah. yeah they don't get moved to the group above them to the pros so to speak they get yeah. kept with the novices and what they would need to do how they could address that in this game is uh, if you do better and better and better it starts matching you up against another server or something yeah. well I've always thought we could well, before it all went free to play, always thinking that cross server PvP and Galactic Starfighter would be a brilliant idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't ever want it in flashpoints, but um. I don't think there's, I don't think there's much need in a flashpoint. Yeah. But then again, I've always I've only ever played healers or tanks. I've never played. I don't play DP. Oh, my first character was a mercenary DPS, but. Once I started queuing for an hour for a flashpoint, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. So now I just play healers or tanks. That's the way to go. Until then, there's no he other healer or tank on mine, but it's the way to go. How was that? Oh, come on. How am I missing? Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, for this uh, cross server would be great because if you're if you're doing exceptionally well, then they could just go ahead and rank you against better players. Mm -hmm. Which gives you a bit more variety, doesn't it? it? Means you're not playing against the same players all the time. And if you get one guy that's just unbelievably good and he's in your opposing team, you just sort of lose heart, really. Where if it cross servered you and you got a bit of choice less chance of being stuck with a pro are you saying oh, that people are losing losing their heart because I keep playing is that what you're trying to say uh, not you in particular but yeah <laughs> <laughs> well if you know that you're on a team with someone that's just going to stomp on you yeah. it has to be oh, disheartening really oh what's that MVP Grease jockey. I've never heard that one before. Oh my gosh. Oh, and 25 repair MVPs. I must have done a lot of repairing in that one and a lot of dying. Hey, I still got number one <laughs> on assists. <laughs> I, I know why that happened. Uh, one of my ion chains actually landed. And so I think that's how I beat you guys on assists because I actually landed one hit on my ion chains. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, but yeah, the the thing I don't like about getting stomped that bad, we really got screwed on yeah. requisition. I don't care about getting stomped. It's no, I say it's getting stomped, isn't it? It just means you just sort of wasted six minutes by earning no requisition points at all. Yep. 